Hey everybody, so let your light shine, and today Sarah wanted to go to a thrift store called Plato's Closet. I'd never heard of it before, but she said if you bring um, some good used clothing, they will actually buy it from you. So we shall see if I have any good stuff. <music> So this is the pile of clothing I was going to try to sell to them. Yes, I think this is good stuff because these are old Levi's that my big booty cannot fit into. And Sarah is um, too small for any of these things. So anyway, let's see what happens. Alrighty then, we have arrived. So basically this store is located by the Galleria Mall, which is located off Sunset Boulevard pretty much across the street from the Sunset Station actually you can see the Sunset Station right there so that's where we are at currently all right Sarah grab the grab the body I mean uh, jeans yeah yeah that's it that's it I've, I've got not just Levi's but old jeans like I don't even know if that brand exists so I don't know if they're gonna be like what the heck but they're all in good condition and they were all when I was teeny tiny and back before I was in my 20s so it's day old but they're in good condition. And I think jeans like Levi's, I don't think those depreciate. We'll find out. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, the hour wait, uh, it's gonna be a two and a half hour wait just for them to even look at my clothes. It's kind of cool though. You check in with this link they send you on your phone and then you um, give them your information and then you can get text um, when they're ready for you to come and get what they wanna buy from you if you wanted to walk away and go to the gallery mall or something. But right now, they do not want jeans. So they said check in on their Instagram account or they can, you can call the store and ask them what's in, what are they collecting. And if you have any of that stuff, then you can come back and sell it. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on selling my jeans because they don't want it. I don't wanna wait two and a half hours only to come back and tell me that they didn't want it in the first place. So I'll just peruse the store for you. So here's the list for now is what is in what they're collecting. And so I'm going to hold off on my big old bag of clothes for now. So here's what the store looks like. It's a pretty nice little setup. It's not a huge warehouse type store. A little place for fitting rooms. Okay, so we got some jewelry. The nice thing about this store is they're very picky on what they're going to buy from you. And they will just give you cash, not store credit. Um, so you're not going to end up looking, you're not going to find like bad stuff. You're going to find pretty good and or vintage type clothes. So it's definitely a great place to go shopping if you want to save money. But you're guaranteed to get some good clothes here. So they have them all organized by um, sizes. Because I know at other thrift stores, they don't care. You just like give them what you want. <laughs> like give them, they just throw it in a bin and go through it later. Here's a bunch of shoes and plethora of fun here. I think these are bathing suits or workout stuff. Yeah, probably workout bra, uh, sports bras and stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to think how they organize it by gender. I don't see if that matters or yeah I don't see it like well yeah I guess they, they do show not above but they'll say it in the little areas guys shoes right here on the top there so all right oh yeah then here's a girls section Oh, the shoes are in pretty good shape. So how much would a pair... Okay, these are pretty much... They look pretty brand new. So they're going for 20 bucks. Just give you an example of what they're going for. $18. So, in my opinion, it seems a little pricier than a typical thrift store like Savers. I would say $14. Uh, let's see something as simple as that. 14 bucks for that. 
How about a shirt? Let's go check out a shirt. Yeah, six dollars. So yeah, I would say it's a little more upscale, and then you also are gonna pay a little more. Nice pizza shirt, by the way. Just saw that. So Sarah picked out so far. She's gonna try these on, but wow, um, very cute. And I was just like, wow, MTV. Like back when it used to be strictly music videos. So five bucks. Very cute. I'm also noticing you can buy phone cases here. Oh, that's cute. But look how cute that is. Little guinea pig socks. Brand new even. <laughs> they run for $2 though, so I don't know. It's not the best price in the world, but it's cute. <laughs> Alright, over by the fitting rooms I saw this. I wasn't sure if these were just clothes that they needed to put away, but it looks like they're... Just clothes hanging off the rack. They're all like overalls type or long dresses or see-through dresses. I don't know. What's this one? Like a bodysuit. They're pretty tall though. And in all those black bins are all the clothes in queue for them to look through and for the customer to come back and sell it. So Let's peruse the store one more time. Here is the fitting rooms. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'm gonna peruse this area. This is the other side. A bunch of purses over here. I also kind of quickly looked at this. I have an old. Levi's jean jacket, more like this, kind of longer one, but I am not letting that go. And you got all these cool purses and bags on this side. I want to see what exactly was up here. That looks like more workout clothes, all right. And sunglasses. Oh, and you got Halloween costumes. Because it's October. Oh, that makes sense. Interesting. How much would 10 bucks for a fallen angel? Hmm, okay. Alright guys, well that was kind of a bust for me because I didn't I wasn't able to sell my stuff and I didn't buy anything. Sarah bought a couple things though, so she worked. It worked out for her. Um, but it was a cool place. The people were very nice. Definitely um, I joined their Instagram account, so next time I'll look for what they need, and if I have it, I'm going to go and sell it for um, a couple bucks here, so definitely worth a shot to check it out again. Once again, I'm here in the Henderson Plato's Closet. Apparently there's other chains, so there's one in Las Vegas and wherever else, I'm not really sure. At the moment, next to the Galleria Mall, which is off Sunset, which is near the Sunset Station here in Henderson, Nevada. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, everybody.